player for player, Cleveland Browns are a better team than the New England Patriots. What you see today was the combination of horrible training camp, a horrible hire, and a fat-faced slob as a head coach. Freddie Kitchens, got to be the worst. I mean, this team continues to shoot themselves in the foot over and over and over with the penalties. And, of course, bad luck by Nicholas GX Daniel Chubb fumbling from his own um, Batonio kicking the ball out of his hand. And then his other one when he has like an 86-yard fucking destruction of a run for it, going for a touchdown and he fumbles from behind. And then Mayfield throws a uh, lateral to the, to the wrong team. So it's three straight plays that took the Cleveland Browns out of the game. It's like the worst fucking luck in the world. I'm telling you, Jesus was nailed to the cross in Cleveland, Ohio, and God has never forgiven him for that. But Cleveland, if you want to look at it, outside of them three plays, Cleveland outplayed um, New, New, New England. They controlled the line of scrimmage. They dictated the tempo of the game. They're the better team. They, they are the better team with the better players. The problem is they are run by a slob, a head coach that is a horrific Mayfield played as good as anybody's ever played against the Patriots. Definitely this year, he had a good game. I mean, he can't help it. Odell Beckham drops the ball right in his hand. Every time he does get a completion, there's a penalty. Bring it back. Offense. I've never seen so many bullshit, blatant bullshit calls against Cleveland Browns. It's like the referees have a union. They don't like the Cleveland Browns. Now, I'm going to tell you something. If they don't fire Freddie Kitchens tomorrow, this team's going nowhere. He is absolutely not competent enough to be a head coach. If I was to clean the Browns, John Dorsey right now, which he won't do because it'll be admitting it's a mistake, I'd fire uh, Freddie Kitchens, give the job over to uh, Steve Wilkes, who wasn't given a fair shot in New Orleans or uh, Arizona. Let him run the team. He obviously knows how to run a team a lot better than Freddie Kitchens and go from there. But this is uh, John Dorsey's fault for hiring Freddie Kitchens. He should have hired a more... A suitable coach. Someone had experience. This guy's just a clown. You know, look, I knew. All these people, oh, I knew Freddie wasn't no good. I knew Freddie wasn't no good. Yeah, everyone knew Freddie wasn't no good. Everybody wanted to believe that he was the right guy, but he's a fucking clown. Um, he's got to be fired. I'm, I'm surprised Mayfield's played, actually. Now I know why Mayfield played bad this year. Freddie Kitchens is ruining the whole team. So, you got to get Freddie out of there before he uh, even contaminates Baker anymore. And uh, we have our, listen, the Browns have the pieces there. They do. I will say this, though, John Dorsey. You didn't want Jamie Collins, huh? Seems to be playing pretty good in New England. Like, rejuvenated. Uh, and another thing, uh, Austin Corbett. I can go on and on about your book. But I will say this. Your two uh, cornerbacks, Scree Williams and uh, Denzel Ward, they are good. They're going to be great ones. But Cleveland has all the pieces in place. They just need a guy, the head guy, to char uh, run it. And right now, Freddie Kitchens is a fucking clown. It's just embarrassing. They need to get a disciplinarian, disciplinarian in there. Someone like me that doesn't take any shit. And Odell Beckham, I got to be honest with you. This guy, he's, he weakened the team. We got rid of our best offensive lineman. And, and we and that we picked up, honestly, here's what we got. When we traded Odell Beckham, we got rid of our best offensive lineman. And we picked up our third best receiver now. Because Odell Beckham's our third best receiver behind Jarvis Landry and Higgins or Callaway, either one. He's, he's not even a top receiver anymore. He's just a third. He drops too many balls. But he could be a key contributing piece on this team when we get a good head coach. We get a good head coach, Odell Beckham Jr. will flourish into a good receiver again. But right now, he's not because there's no discipline on this team. We need a new coach. Overall, I thought defense played pretty good considering uh, they were put in some tough positions. Steve Wilkes should get the uh, coaching job for the rest of the year. Freddie's a joke. Freddie, you're fucking clueless. I want to listen to your press conference so bad, and I think I will. <laughs>